Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm your boy 336 We'll watch some more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, this is pretty much me after recording the first part, so I don't really know how the first part went. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support um, on these recent videos. Uh, as I say a lot, it is uh, very important during these times because of, of course, the thing that's going on right now i can't say the word because it'll be demonetized but uh just you know stay home stay safe all that just listen to the news listen to all that and uh yeah uh just stay safe because i don't know what i do without you guys um i just do know that this is after we got done with the tutorial and everything, so I'm about to jump off a cliff and use the paraglider and explore. Main thing is exploring this episode and making my way to Cockrico Village. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right back into this shit. Alright, so I didn't really do much. Uh, just literally got done recording part one. So, I do not really know how part one went, but hopefully it did good. Oh. Hyrule Kingdom. I'm taking that. I can't. Well... Damn it, he picked it up. Oh well. There we go. Moblin Fang. Yeah, there's Moblins and Boke Hoblins. Which I was talking about that during Twilight Princess. I didn't remember what the actual ones in that video game was because I changed it. But, uh, yeah, I did remember these. For some reason, I did. There's a lot of open area. I might get a tower in this episode. Just because I need this map like open so I can see what the fuck is going on. Outpost ruins. Let's get to a high spot and see where we can find the nearest tower. Okay, what's up here? Fire arrows, nice. Oh, stay the fuck away from me. Oh, they can't get me. Alright, where's the nearest tower? One. I don't know which area opens what. Oh wait, there's a tower right there. I see it. Okay, I'm gonna head to that one. Uh, if anything interesting happens, I will show it, but uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in a bit. A fucking ambush. Oh shit, okay. Yep, you made your point. Ah shit. Whatever, it's like one heart that I'm wasting. But whatever. Shit. Okay, what can I use? Sphere. Get the fuck back. Poke your ass. Yeah, fuck you. I got him. Wow. Actually, was not expecting that. That was a pretty good ambush. <laughs> oh, there's one right here. I'm just gonna mark it. 
Bushkala. Bushkala Shrine. I'm just marking this so I can come back to it. You thought you were going to get that surfer deed. The end is here. Maybe somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's badder than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself. So you've come at a good time. By, by the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. <laughs> With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly started moving, you know? Uh, what thing? I'm talking about the Guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like a like an overturned urn? That is what I am talking about. Did you know some of those some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. Alright, I don't really care. Goodbye. Be careful. I will. Uh, they haven't chased me yet, so I think I'm doing pretty well for myself. This is going to come to life. Please don't. Okay. Thank you for the ancient gears. But I do want to check out that, though. Okay. Okay. Oh, bitch. I do want to pick those up. Having those is pretty... Oh, no, they're... Not the tentacles. It's like the balloon, kind of. I'd really like to have that, but I guess I just get tentacles. That's fine. I'll open this. Amber. Okay. Uh Okay, do not wake up. Okay, that one is completely dead, so... No need to worry about that one. Oh. That treasure. It is. That was a perfect bounce. I got a boomerang. What is that? I don't think I've had one of these before. Eh, you know what? I don't really need this. Yep, that goes... Huh. I think I've had a boomerang before. I think I just swim across. There we go. I, I wasn't sure if I can make it. You can, like, die... In, like... This deep of water, for some reason. It's like you touched the ground already. I 
I was right there. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'll play it the slow way. Ooh, treasure. Korok leaf. Heck yeah, dude. I'm gonna sneak up behind him. He'll never know what hit him. Bitch! He fucking knew. <laughs> oh, the shit! There we go. And then... Hit him. Right as he turned, too. That's a big old sword right there. Here, bitch. Can I like? You know, can I? Oh shit. Okay. I okay. That's cool. That's cool. I am not ready for this shit. I didn't get to cook. I eat these apples now. Alright, maybe I wasn't ready for this. But you know what I am ready for? A little bit of... A little bit of explosions! Bitch! Elf. Oh! Take that too! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> oh, did he die on the fire? I think he did. I'm gonna cook, might as well. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> All right. Last little bit here. Man, I really need to get my stamina up. But that is my next thing when I find four spirit orbs. That's the next thing that I'm going to upgrade. All right. Let's get this tower and then figure out where we need to go. Sheikah Tower activated. Scanning area. Regional map extracted. Okay. Additional functionality detected. Oh yeah, this is where you take pictures of shit and then you can... Uh, then you can find it and it like detects it. It detects... It's detecting a shrine right now, but I can take a picture of something that I'm looking for that's really rare. And then it will... It will like censor it, which is pretty cool. Yep, I kind of already know that a shrine was near me. I just didn't go to it. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I need to go in between that mountain right there and then go up in between and then do that. Okay, so I got it all figured out. I just follow that path over there. Apparently. I think the one that's detecting is up there. There's like two on each side. I do remember that. Uh, 
that one very uh, very vividly because it's just you know I was like looking for that too and I'm like what the fuck is it beeping at it's just like well it's the only fucking thing you can find and it requires a lot of stamina to climb that so oh yeah there's one right there too <laughs> Oh, sweet. I found an inn. Nice, and someplace I can cook. Which is always nice. Okay, so I'm gonna cook some apples. Mix those bad boys up. Then a bunch of meats. That fucking sniped a bird back there, by the way. I'm gonna show that right now. <laughs> Alright, so I might stay at the inn. Oh, I'm at the stable part. Shit. Uh, do you know about stable? Yes, I do. I, I know a lot about the stable, so. Hey. You stable horses. Oh. Alright, I only have a horse, so I can't really stable him here. But I do want a nice place to sleep. Hi. Will you be staying with us? Oh, fuck. No, I only have enough oh. rupees. Never mind. Oh. This is what poor people used to do. Just stay by the fire, and then you'll rest for hours and then it'll be morning <laughs> there we go hey. anyways let's continue making our way to wherever uh Kakariku village i am gonna get a horse yeah there's no way Gotta be the dumbest one, which is perfect for me. Oh! Just headbutt me and then away. All right, do not face the one that you want. It's facing me. It's facing me. It's facing me. Ah! Damn it! Okay. Yeah, I might be able to get it. I might be able to get it. I just gotta sneak up on it. I gotta sneak up on it. And then jump on it. Oh! Oh! Soothe, 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 soothe. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Whoa, whoa. Good. Don't know if you're a girl or not, because Nintendo doesn't really put that. I'm sign you up, put you in. Not put you in a state. Hey, whoa, 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 chill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Let's talk to that dude. Well, I'm to our stable. A wild horse. Or, okay, yeah. Register horse. Gotcha. Yes. Not a problem. We charge a registration fee to help support our... Okay. How much? 20 room? How much? Hold on. I need to sell some shit. I need to sell some shit. Hold on. Oh, there he is. Yes. Okay. Right when I need you. All right. Okay, I don't really care what the fuck this dude has to say, I'm gonna be honest. Yep, yep. I know you like gemstones. I like to sell... All of them. Yes. I like to sell all of them. 
There you go. Now I can register my fucking horse. Thank you. All right. Now we got enough roops. Hi there. Welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it in our network stables. Yes. Thank you. Register horse. Yes. No, not a problem. We charge a registration fee to help you add twenty dollars or twenty rupees. Yes. Ooh, a name. A name for our horse. This is the best I could do. Jack Mayhoff. This is the best I can do. Alright. Perfect name for a horse. Jack Mayhoff. At your service. Are you sure you want to name this horse Jack Mayhoff? <laughs> yes. I keep this horse till the end. I don't care how slow it is. I don't care the speed. It's fine. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Take horse. Thank you. All right. If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. All right, but your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. All right, thanks. I'm off. Let's go, Jack Mayhoff. Okay, we're at Kakariku Bridge, so that means we're pretty much close. My bond is not 100% with his horse. That's why he's like freaking out. It should be a, like a high enough bond though. I don't know. Yeah, Jack Mayhoff is my new horse. It'll take some getting used to, but he will love being ridden all the time. Pretty soon. I think I just killed a fucking. Yep, I did. It just turns into meat. I, did, I didn't mean to kill that, but whatever. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, this dude. Wait, 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 wait. This dude. Chalaka. You. You can see me? <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> Should I say I can't see you? Jalico? And how are you talking to me, silly boy? Shalaza, Shalaza. <laughs> okay. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. I need your financial support. <laughs> Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Those motherfuckers. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them. Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. I got you. Seem like a pretty cool dude. Come on, Jack Mayhoff. Fuck those dudes up. We will fuck those dudes up. Who took my boy's maracas? Motherfuck! Oh, it's three blue ones. This is not good. This is not good. This is not healthy. This is not healthy. This is not healthy. This is not healthy. Oh my god. Okay. I probably should have thought about that before running in, like, you know, really fucking close. Okay. Ugh, bitches. Jack Mayhoff! I got you some fucking apples. Oh, he's dead. Fucking bitch. Okay. Okay, so 
Human fruit isn't that bad, okay. We're bitch! Yeah, that's right, get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's dead. Alright. And it said my sword was almost gone, so I'm just gonna drop it. Pick up the steak. Boko spear. Hestu's maracas, sweet. Hey, they cut up some wood for me, sweet. And some more apples. Jack Mayhoff, I got you some apples. I got you, dude. Apple. Oh no, it's rolling over. Get it, Jack Mayhoff. Get it. No. Why did I do this on a hill? Why did I decide to do this? Okay. Well, we're, we're gonna find some flat ground and do it. Go, Jack Mayhoff. Let's put him. Let's get his maracas back. Actually, no, Jack Mayhoff. Here you go. There we go. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Chalakala! Those are. Those are my maracas. Please give them to me. All right. Chalaka. Oh wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The cork seeds inside are gone. And how? And cork seeds are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed. I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansions. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Oh. I think I have one. Don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. I do. I have one. I have exactly one. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. Sniff. Oh wait, sniff sniff. Do you have a Korok seed? You do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes. Please. Shalaka, so which stash do you want more slots in. Uh, I would say my main weapons. Oh yeah. Chucky Shaka. Oh dang. Oh dang, look at it moves. Damn. Sweet, okay. Da na 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 na. <laughs> I, I, this is my favorite character. Oh my god. Your weapon stash has been expanded. Chalaka. Chalaka! What does that even mean? I'll be here for a little while, so if you find more Korok seeds, bring them to me. Alright. Anyways. Let's go to... Korok City, or Kakariko Village, wow. Anyways, <laughs> let's go Jack Mayhoff. Alright, here we are. Kakariko Village. Okay, I want to dismount. There we go. Ooch. What's wrong? Traveler, I'm sorry, but it I seem to have twisted my ankle. Mm, let me see here. I'm sorry I see me like that. 
Say, traveler. Where do you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see... Link talks now? He finally learned how to talk. I just realized. I've been talking this entire time, and I just realized. <laughs> yes, I see. That Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we, Sheikah, have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before... All else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Where is she? That's where we need to we need to go. Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls. Just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. Ah, I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so we gotta... Go to Lady Impa. And talk to her. It's like the main drive of the story. I do like this clothing store, though. Cute outfits. Okay. Okay, so thanks to me finding these pants, I only need to find two clothing items. Alright, so sixty dollars for that and then a hundred and twenty. So they are taking out my bank account. But yeah, eventually I am gonna find those. Welcome to Enchanted, my high end boutique. By the by, that strength that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense, small price for the extra stealth. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a while. So yeah, I'll definitely be back for that, but until then... I am buying these two things. I will take that. Thanks, take good care of it. Yep. And then the 60. There you go, you made a great purchase. Yep. Alright, let's put these bad boys on. Now I look sick. Hell yeah. Anyways. Let us continue on. Actually, I do want to use... Some of the traveler shit, so I don't look like a fucking pleb in front of everybody. E everybody. Wow. Everybody. There we go. Modern looking. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You there. Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Well, are you going to believe me, or... Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legend from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Thank you. But first, I am going to drop an apple in this. I do know about this one. Here we go. Complete the apple thing. Yeah, ha You found me. Yep. Bob. Well, bye. All right, I'll take this. Take all these apples. All right, now. Go see Lady Impa. A man? Oh, yes. Thank you for noticing. Uh, is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? 
What was his name? Le, Le, um, oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is P, P, Pi. Oh, my name is Pi. Uh, phew. I got it out. <laughs> I knew I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting, been awaiting your return ever since I was little. P please, hurry inside. Okay. Anyways. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Huh. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiar... familiarity. It is I, Courageous One Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I see, so you have lost your memory. Well, it, well, it matters not, in fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please, come a bit closer. Oh. A hundred years ago, oh boy. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber and then all alone alone she went to face Ganon before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you I have been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message oh. however these words which the princess risked her life to leave you well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you when you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message. Return to me. All right. The words that the princess risks her life to impact, impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Yes, that's why I am here. Ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have... Not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Okay? The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of... Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon 
faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Yep, didn't work. A hundred years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Okay. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudana, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The Divine Beast Va Medoa, controlled by Reveli, Reveli of the Rito. The Divine Beast Va Ruda, controlled by Mithia, Mitha of the Zora. And the Divine Beast Van Va No Boris. Controlled by your Bosa of the Gerudio? Gerudo? Oh, I said Gerudio. It's Gerudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beast that were stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Yep, those are my main objectives.
The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Atino Village might be able to help you. Anito Village. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hatino Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Dude, this is Preston Garvey, just Zelda version. Like, I'm getting so many quests. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. There we go. Oh! I must check the hair loom. Okay. Oh, that thing? <laughs> I'm assuming? All right. So that's about it for this episode, really, because I did a lot, uh, explored a little bit, uh, did the main mission of Impa, and now I'm really just pretty much done. I am gonna accept this, though. This is a pretty cool little side mission. Yeah. Today's dinner is veggie cream soup. Yeah. It's super nourishing and fortifying. Well, that's what they say anyhow. It must be true. All you do is toss a swift carrot, rock salt, and fresh milk in a pot and stew it up. Then voila, so yummy. Oh no. Coco is all out of swift carrots. But Coco promised to make Cola Co Cotla some hasty Veggie cream soup. I'll bring you some. Thank you so much. Okay, Coco just needs one swift carrot. Just one. And Coco can get cooking. Coco will be waiting for you here. Though once it gets dark out, Coco will have to head home. And this is the easy... I'm just letting you guys know. I'm going to beat this right now. This is the easiest fucking one. Swift carrot. And like, uh, my sister was playing this, and I thought these were fucking, uh, peppers. No, not, not them all. I'll need them all. Just one. 16 rupees! For one! Yep, thanks. Hey, while you're here, maybe you should take a look around and see if there's anything else you want. Nope, got it. Pet 69 rupees. Nice. Alright. Yep, yep. Uh, Coco is supposed to be like a mother for Kotla. Coco is a bad big sister. Huh. Huh! Coco smells swift carrot. This is for you. Is that a swift carrot? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. So very much. Now Coco can make dinner for Kotla. Yeah. Time to get cooking. Got that cooking music. Ooh, it came out perfect. Here, please have some. Coco's treat. AC veggie cream soup. Coco wants to try cooking different things so Coco can be a great chef just like mother. Well, you probably shouldn't talk in a third person because that way you don't sound like an absolute weirdo. Oh, whatever. We finished the side quest. 
Pretty sure that's our first side quest that we actually completed. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next episode, we are gonna continue on. Anyways, we are gonna continue on and um, do some more side. We are gonna go to this area. I forgot what village it is, but yeah, we'll be doing that in the next episode. But anyways, in the meantime, drop a like, leave a comment, and welcome to the revolution.